हेलो देख लो हेलो हेलो हाँ सर सर ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी स्टूडेंट्स आर ज्वाइन ट्वेंटी स्टूडेंट्स ओके 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 सो स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वी कैन वी कैन स्टार्ट नाउ यस सर यस गुड इवनिंग सर वी आर आई माई माई सेल्फ इज डॉक्टर शिवानंद मिश्रा ओके मैन ऑफ साइकोलॉजी Ah, I'm I'm going to teach to you the lifespan psychology today. Okay, we are starting the block one. There are four units in block one. Okay, are you audible? Audible? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Any doubt or anything you can ask. Okay, so uh, I am also uh, sharing the. Slides also now after two minutes. So the topic is lifespan psychology. You know what is lifespan psychology? Anybody can tell what is lifespan psychology? Hello, anybody can tell something about it? Sir, from birth, uh, from conception to death. To birth to? No conception to death. Conception to death. Okay. so lifespan means uh, all types of psychological and biological changes during from birth to death okay so we are talking about first of all we need to know what is development ha uh, okay development refers to the biological and psychological changes that occur in human beings between the birth and the end of adolescent as, as the individual progresses from dependency to increasing autonomy it means biological and psychological changes during the human as a human being uh, know about it so it starts from from conception to adolescent stage and as well as it progresses up to the further later development also occurs so Uh, at that time the de during development there are different different psychological changes and biological changes you know so it is influenced by genetic and environmental factors ha huh? okay so develop it is talking about developmental psychology developmental psychology refers to development development throughout the life span throughout the life span of a human being and pediatrics what is pediatric you know it is a branch of medicine relating to the care of children okay so uh, very simply we know what is growth growth is defined as an increase in size increase in size so far as physical development physical growth is concerned and development on the other hand refers to a progression towards maturity towards maturity okay so under growth and development so there are some physical changes and psychological changes and cognitive changes as well as social and emotional changes also okay social and emotional you know uh, when a uh, child interacting with others and uh, he learns many things during school or different aspect of his day to day life he learns many things from the environment okay after that also another yeah. sexuality and gender identity another important factor what is sexuality and gender children also develop sexuality and form a gender identity gender identity they learn to how boys and girls are different as they grow older and enter adolescence and puberty puberty you know puberty anybody can tell what is puberty can you say at all slides for the students i am sharing the slides for your information please uh, 
it is life span psychology then these are the in the first unit if you go through the first unit the concept of development growth and development life span perspective and methods of studying development and characteristics of development also so in, in this next uh, what is development this is the definition development refers to the biological and psychological changes that occur in human beings throughout the life span have you seen these slides students yes sir Hello? okay okay no problem so this is about development next is slide is growth and development physical growth in height and weight over years like there are some example crawling walking running and writing then psychological and cognitive how to learn how to learn and how to think on purpose and to process uh, organize all information how to solve problems to talk to remember like that so these are about psychological and cognitive development next is social and emotional learn how to interact play work live with family friends understand their own feelings others sense of self esteem self esteem mean you know self confidence sense of morality also is there then already we have discussed we are going to discuss sexuality and gender gender identity that is about children also develop sexuality form a gender identity they learn how boys and girls are different as they grow older and older enter adolescent and puberty they continue to learn how their bodies work sexually and how to responsibly handle their sexuality this is also learning for sexuality gender identity next there are some critical period during development what is critical period so difficulty difficulty in life that children face different critical period like for instance children learn to trust the parents the parents are consistently loving affectionate and give the child care and love unconditionally if the child is neglected abused or he or she may distrust of parents so this is about critical period critical period means when the child is facing difficulty huh? difficulty in learning next is life span life span perspective life span refers to the ongoing process that we go through by growing up it is the period of time from conception extending to death it is a process in which the progression initiates with the emergence of fetus from a one celled organism you know when the child is in mother's womb huh? that time there are different different stages we also in the further slides will discuss that is called fetus huh? from a one celled organism the developmental periods are child adolescence early childhood middle childhood and late childhood also for better understanding and how why people change and grow one can then apply this knowledge to helping to live live to their full potentiality so this is about life span perspective you understand any doubt hello no sir okay understood sir listen. you are listening listening yes sir yes sir okay. yes sir next slide is understanding life span development there are four interactive forces that combine to shape human development first is biological forces include biological forces include all genetic and health related factors that influence the development of a child some examples like biological forces are prenatal development brain maturation puberty facial expression diet exercises etc anybody you know understand what is puberty puberty maturation sir maturation sir ah yes uh, the transition from childhood to childhood to adolescence yes yes good very good so these are the biological forces next is psychological forces psychological forces include all internal perceptual cognitive emotional <laughs> personality factors that affect the development of a child intelligence self confidence honesty self esteem are examples of psychological forces but is self esteem you understand self esteem self confidence okay 
so these are psychological forces next is socio cultural forces next slide socio cultural socio cultural include the they include interpersonal societal cultural ethical factors that affect the development of a child this is important to know that how people and environment interact with each other the family the peers the co-workers and social institutions cultural influence development poverty is the best example of socio cultural forces huh? okay so these are all socio cultural forces next is life cycle forces these reflect differences in how the same event affects people of different ages each individual is a product of a unique combina combination of these forces no two individual even in the same family experience these forces in the same way maybe somebody two brothers or two sisters their personality will be different their memory will be different their capacity of uh, doing anything they have different okay understand next <clears throat> next is stages of development the main developmental periods of human being are child and adolescence child actually in childhood if you go through childhood infancy early childhood middle childhood next is uh, adolescence next uh, adulthood and then middle child adulthood and late adulthood like that you can differentiate in different different ways but here we have four categories childhood and adolescence next is early adulthood middle adulthood late adulthood are you listening hello yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. okay yes, sir. no problem no. next is domains of human yes, domains there are different different domains of domains means different different aspects of human development first is physical domain the physical domain is characterized by how humans grow and change physically how humans grow and change physically at all stages of development especially during childhood childhood and adolescence when the physical changes are maximum the domain includes how humans view the world as development progresses as a result of physical development and interaction actually most importantly physical domain talking about how humans grow and change physically at all stages of development during childhood and adolescence okay second is psychological domain it focuses on adjustment of the individual to the environment adjustment to the of the individual to the environment adjustment is the process which is essential for survival of the organism the child has to learn how to suck ingest food eliminate breathe on own etc which activities you are taking care of when the child is still within the mother's womb okay next is uh, cognitive domain cognitive domain focuses on learning attention perception memory the manner in which learning takes place and how the child makes progress in school and home are of great importance in child's growth and development how these components of cognitive domain functions and improves indicate the progress the child makes huh? so cognitive domain focuses on learning attention perception memory etc it means in this stage home and school for a child home and school are very much important place in child's growth and development so for growth and development is concerned next is social domain social domain uh, deals with the adjustment to people that are with others and learn right ways of interaction this domain is concerned with how learning occurs and why memory deteriorates during old age it contains contains adjustment in variables within social situations such as personality research social skills developing relationships all the domains operate together and are affected by each other anybody can tell what is social skill students hello what is social skill anybody social can characteristics tell? social characteristics social interaction uh, peer group 
फ्रेंड सर्कल हाँ इंटरेक्शन विथ फ्रेंड सर्कल पेरेंट्स और रिलेटिव्स और एनी अदर सिचुएशन हाँ सोशल डोमेन हाँ दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सोशल स्किल इट इट इज वेरी नेसेसरी ओके नेक्स्ट फैक्ट्स ऑफ डेवलपमेंट हाँ देर आर एक्चुअली डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लाइफ स्पान डेवलपमेंट एंड देर आर सम फैक्ट्स ऑफ डेवलपमेंट Early foundations are very critical. Early foundations are very critical because attitudes and behaviors, attitudes and behaviors established in early years determine to a large extent how individual will adjust in later life. Huh? Early attitude behavior is very important in situation. Early foundations. Huh? As per actually, we you know uh, in a, in a, in a, uh, early years, if a child is more interactive, more learning more things whatever he did as the child did in the early years that will impact to your later development okay so next is role of maturation and learning in development maturation you understand maturation provides the raw material for learning development is influenced by the interaction of both anybody can tell uh, uh, so as child is concerned uh first learning is important or maturation is important anybody can tell maturation sir maturation maturation Only brain or uh, your organs will be matured or you you capable enough you cannot learn na uh, it is so much mat on maturation learning is dependent okay unless maturation yes, you cannot learn much hmm. it requires brain's development anyway so development follows a definite and predictable development follows a definite and predictable pattern development is governed by certain laws you know development follows a definite and predictable pattern so friends one there are two important point in this regard one is cephalocaudal law cephalocaudal means your brain your development will be brain development will, will be body total human being development spread over the body from hand to mouth eh, sorry head to foot head to foot from from brain brain will develop first your head then gradually your it continues to up to foot okay next is proximo distal under that proximo distal means spread outward from the central axis from central arm and everything then it will come to your fingers and hands okay development like that so development follows a definite and predictable pattern all individuals all individuals are different you know all individuals are there. nobody because everybody is a, has a different different unique personality individual is unique your personality is different your friends personality is different your maybe two brothers and sister they have different different personality individuals are different so as personality all the psychological characteristics are concerned okay so next is each phase of development has characteristic behavior each phase of phase of development has characteristic each phase there are different different characteristics and hazards in each phase hazards hazards you know which is harmful psychological hazard physical hazard huh? hazards there are different different maybe some accident or any uh, problem that is hazards each stage is related to certain hazards such as physical and psychological and environmental hazards also okay and development is aided by stimulation through stimulation development is development acquires the whatever development in the child cultural changes affect the development different different cultural changes also in it Uh, somebody is in india somebody is in mauritius and any other place as per the culture also the development will will differ every stage has social expectation huh? every stage every stage of the uh, human beings development has social expectation so this is about first first unit we have completed now first unit any doubt or anything anybody hello sir the part where you teaching about maturation versus learning okay. that's where i got a doubt maturation which is uh, more important ha uh ha -huh. yes yes maturation you understand what is maturation 
Hello? So the the uh, proximity of uh, uh, understanding the things in life. Uh, yes, understanding the thing. How how you understand? After the development of your brain and uh, all the organs, you can understand better, na? Unless you mature, you you are capable enough to do anything. How can you learn? You cannot learn. Okay. But sir, the process of maturation is a lifespan process. And yes, lifespan process. But in the early years, it is very important and uh, it uh, it is very rapid. Maturation is very rapid, very quickly that, develops. Ah. So that means you meant that a certain uh, amount of maturation is needed to learn things, to start definitely, learning. Definitely, definitely. Unless maturation, learning cannot be possible. Uh, unless your brain and spinal cord and other parts of the body develops, you cannot do proper learning. Uh, suppose you are doing some physical activity, you are capable enough to, you have strength and you are, your body body should be able to do the task. Na? Otherwise, unless your development, how can you learn? You cannot do it. Okay, okay. sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Next. Next is prenatal development. Huh? What is prenatal development? Characteristics. Characteristics, stages of prenatal period, periods of prenatal development, and environmental influence. This unit, these are the topics. Next, what is prenatal development? Prenatal development is a process in which process of growth and development of a new life in the mother's home from fertilization to until birth. You can say also, it is a process in which an embryo or fetus develops during pregnancy from fertilization until birth. Develop, development before birth takes place in three stages period. Development before birth takes place in three stages. That is, uh, there are three stages of development. One is ovum, embryo, and fetus. There are the three stages of development. So, in general, prenatal development is talking about the process in which an embryo or fetus develops during pregnancy from fertilization or you can say conception to until birth. Okay, next. Periods of prenatal development. First of all, I need we need to there are some characteristics of prenatal development. You need to know, then we'll go to that. There are some characteristics of prenatal development. Ah, maybe next slide it is there. No, no, no. Okay. So I'm telling something about characteristics of prenatal period. Important characteristics. So right prenatal development is concerned. It is the most important and first period of development in the lifespan, most important. And it is the first but shortest period starts from the conception and ends at the birth time of baby. This period is approximately 280 days or nine months of a calendar. Okay. This period is approximately 280 days or nine months of a calendar and uh, next is second characteristics hereditary factors are also important for prenatal development hereditary factor huh? favorable next is favorable and unfavorable conditions of mother's body can foster the development of hereditary potential favorable and unfavorable conditions of the mother's body huh? so if the mother is okay a mother is healthy or everything is okay good with the mother then there is no problem at the time of conception the sex of the baby is fixed at the time of conception the sex of the baby is fixed okay so during prenatal period greater growth and development takes place than any other time throughout the entire lifespan greater growth and development takes place than any other time throughout the entire life of human being before birth before birth means during nine months, the child grows from microscopic, microscopically small cell to an infant, to an infant who measures 20 inches in length and weight average seven pounds. 
it is the time of more hazardous than other periods of life span it is the time of more hazardous than other periods of life these are some of the characteristics of prenatal development okay so next is periods of prenatal development period of zygote period of zygote means the period of pre prenatal development that takes place in first two weeks after conception first two weeks period is called as period of zygote in this period half a proportion of genetic material comes from the father and half comes from the mother oh. actually in this period in this period how conception occur 23 chromosomes from the mother and father equally in the combination of both the chromosomes it's a fertilization occurs conception occurs so it takes place in the first two weeks after conception it is characterized by the period of zygote takes place in the first two weeks after conception it is characterized by the creation of zygote by one week after conception differentiation of the cell their specialization for different tasks has already been so different different tasks has been made during this period period of zygote second is period of embryo period of embryo which the period of prenatal development that occurs from two weeks to eight weeks after conception the embryo develops into a miniature human being miniature human being this stage begins on the 15 day after conception and con continues until about eight weeks or until the embryo is 12 inches in length during this period the cells of the embryo are not only multiplying but they are taking on specific function the process is called tissue differentiation so embryo period is called as in embryo period period the one cell embryo is multiplying not only multiplying but also taking on specific function different different function also they are conducting this process is called tissue differentiation so that stage is period of fetus the fetal period lasting about seven months until birth two months after conception actually two months after conception and birth in typical pregnancy at this stage the embryo is developed through developed enough to say to call a fetus in this period the embryo is developed enough to be call a fetus fetus and growth and development continue their dramatic course during this time hello are you listening hello yes sir yes sir the fetus is about three inches long and weighs about three ounces three months it comes three months after conception the genitals can be identified as male or female the face forehead eyelids nose chin are distinguishable it means all the parts of the in the third stage everybody everything is as a human being everything will be differentiated and you can identify as a child by the end of four months of pregnancy the fetus has grown to six inches in length and weighs four to seven ounces mother can feel arm and leg movement in this stage by the end of fifth month the fetus is about 12 inches long and weighs close to a pound by the end of six months, the fetus is about 14 inches long and has gained another half pound. So finally, during eight or nine months, the fetus grows substantial weight, about another four pounds. At birth, the average baby weighs seven and a half pounds and is about 20 inches long. So gradually, the all about the physical changes occur during prenatal development in the three stages of prenatal development okay next environmental influences what are the environmental environment does indeed begin to influence the individual as such as he or she is conceived first of all mother's disease mother's disease mother's disease is the main cause of fetal death the mother is confronted with different different diseases like german measles 
or rubella, mumps, polio, influenza are the diseases which affect the mother during the prenatal period. Second, in, in, environmental influences, drugs and chemicals. Drugs and chemicals. For a healthy delivery, it is necessary to avoid any kind of drugs and chemicals. If doctor advise, then we can use some medicine or anything. Otherwise, it is not advisable. Drugs, chemicals like alcohol, heroin, quinine, aspirin, etc., which affect the prenatal development. So, drugs and chemicals also affect the child. The next is radiation. Radiation is also responsible for causing damage to the fetus. Next, another is abortion. Many cases also we, we found abortion cases. Huh? Those, uh, earlier, people don't want, suppose there is a doctor, there is a girl, so they don't want girl. So that time, they also do abortion by, after consulting the doctor. Next is age of the mother, age of the mother, age of the mother. The maternal age has a high risk for infant defect. Mother age is very important. Huh? Why mother age is very important? Anybody can tell? Hello? Students? Are you listening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why age of the mother is very important? <laughs> Because, because of the re, re, reproductive system. Because under is the reproductive system may not be fully developed. Yes, can you repeat again, please? Because under is, uh, that means uh, uh, under 18 years, the reproduction system may not be fully developed of the mother. Good, good, good. That is one reason. Other, if, if the mother's age also more than Reproductive years, system. Then it is a problem also. If the mother age is more, suppose 35 years or 30 years, then it will be a problem also. Okay. So maternal age has a high risk for infant defect. Okay. Next is nutrition. Nutrition or diet of the mother. Nutrition is very important. Diet deficiency during pregnancy period is especially harmful. Huh? Proper food and balanced food is required for the mother. Hmm? Otherwise, it will be diff difficult. Next is stress in the mother. What is the stress? Stress is maternal stress or emotion could influence the growing child. Ah, mother feel differently that time. Ah, discussion with different different people. Mother also influenced by the people. Okay, that is stress in the mother. Stress or anxiety. Next is RH incompatibility. It is a inherited protein. It is an inherited protein found in the blood of 85% of population. Problem arises when male carries Rh positive and female carries does not carry the Rh negative factors. Sir, so, what is this? Sir, what is this Rh stands for? Actually, details about that you have to go through the detail. Um, okay, fine, detail. fine. So. so if any incompatibility, incompatibility, any irregularity or connection will be different. Suppose mother, mother's uh, male carries Rh positive and female carries does not carry Rh negative, then it will be a problem. Okay. Next, sir. If vice versa happens, vice versa, vice versa also problem. But okay. Sir. Compatibility is required. Compatibility means equality. Yeah? Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Next is uh, we are going coming to infancy. Okay. Infancy. Third unit. Huh? This is third unit. Second unit is completed. Understood? So uh, third unit talking about development during infancy, physical, psychosocial, cognitive, and linguistic. Okay. So this period, the, this is the beginning period for a child. Infancy is the beginning of beginning period for a child and the fastest period. Mm. It starts from infancy. Can you tell me the infancy period continues from which age? Which age? Anybody can tell? Sir, birth till first year. 
फर्स्ट ईयर और टू इयर्स टू इयर्स सेकंड टू इयर्स ओके दिस इज द बिगिनिंग पीरियड ऑफ अ चाइल्ड एंड फास्टेस्ट पीरियड इट इज द पीरियड ऑफ यंग चाइल्ड इट इज माइनर इज स्ट्रगलिंग फॉर रीचिंग द एज ऑफ लीगल मैच्योरिटी व्हाट इज द लीगल मैच्योरिटी इज लीगल मैच्योरिटी यस हेलो लीगल मैच्योरिटी इज 18 इयर्स वोटिंग एज हां ओके एनीवे सो uh infancy is the beginning beginning period for a child and the fastest period it is the period of young child it is infant is minor in struggling for reaching the age of legal maturity he is so helpless person and dependent on other person always it understood so a child goes through the various stages in his full life such as infancy childhood adolescence adulthood and lastly old age infant is a minor is struggling for reaching the age of legal maturity the first two years of an individual's life at the time of his most rapid development he is so helpless person and de dependent on other persons the behavior and ability ability of two years ch old children are different from older children psychologists like sigmund freud eric erickson and jean piaget highlighted the different aspects of an infant okay this is about development during characteristic there are some characteristics of infancy period infancy period is the shortest period of whole life span development it starts from birth to 2 years okay adjustment is equally important to the infant as he has to adjust with the outer surroundings outer surroundings and infancy period is a plateau in development plateau in development it means in this period uh, the child gains weight weight height or different different development okay so infancy is a period of future prediction future prediction next infancy is considered a period full of hazards full of hazards in terms of physical and psychological adjustment so these are about characteristics of infancy period ah okay next is understood students hello yes sir yes sir yes sir hazards yes sir there are some hazards during infancy period physical hazards and psychological hazards ah hazards means there are some harmful difficulties ah difficulties complication at the time of birth due to mother's health may be medicine may be complication loss of oxygen sometimes to the brain of the child so these are the complications multiple birth multiple birth also difficulty twins uh, birth of twins or anything post maturity larger post maturity post maturity is talking about larger size of the fetus uh, post maturity uh, you can know a child is more than the weight is more so post maturity larger size of the fetus and second is uh, pre maturity maybe pre maturity means immature immature baby like uh, the child has certain problems like brain damage or respiratory problem like that huh? these are physical hazards huh? understood second is psychological hazards psychological hazards like traditional beliefs about birth helplessness and attitude of parents traditional beliefs about birth means in different different culture different different traditional beliefs that is also sometimes uh, hazardous situation for the child okay traditional beliefs helplessness helplessness uh, during hospital suppose the child has certain problems uh, different different diseases with the problem ah huh? so that time under the carry of a number of doctors and nurses ah huh? under observation you feel that situation also helplessness that is the situation of helplessness doctor uh, observing observing under observation okay doctors observation third is attitude of parents attitude of parents like uh, like that uh, many people feel 
girl is not good boy is good huh? <laughs> like that gender differences gender preferences huh? gender nowadays it is very difficult both are okay girls also capable <laughs> boys also capable now nowadays people accept it but traditional time that is a problem some people also in the remote area or traditional people feel that excessive crying attitude of pride difficulty in nourishment unexpected arrival of twins complication like that these are psychological hazards so these are some of the points of hazards during infancy period next physical growth physical growth physical growth means physical development in infancy first year of first year of infant is characterized by rapid growth physically first year of the infant characterized uh, characterized by rapid growth physically a normal baby double seats birth weight normal baby there is a great expansion of the head chest bones which are soft at birth begin to harden brain weight also increases rapid during infancy newborn infant sleeps almost constantly awakening only for feeding by the end of first year sleeping and waking hours are divided about equally so these are all about physical growth huh? understood second is maturation maturation is a universal sequence of biological events in the central nervous system that permits a psychological function to appear uh, assuming that uh, the child is physically healthy the child assuming that the child is physically healthy and lives in an environment containing people and objects and you can also say it releases hormones in this stage in maturation stage it releases hormones from the pituitary gland located in the brain Huh? it releases certain hormonal so after that you feel maybe you are powerful you are strengthened huh? you are matured that time huh? physically mentally you are free huh? you can judge you can learn more huh? understood With, huh? maturation yes, little more information you have got huh? next next is psychosocial development in infancy psychosocial uh, psychosocial it is psychosocial actually it is the development of a person's understanding of the environment they are living in and figuring out how that relates to them their behavior their others it is learning about yourself through your surroundings and other people psychologist erickson erickson proposed birth to one year old trust versus mistrust trust versus you know anybody know erickson psychosocial stages erickson is a great psychologist who developed a who developed a theory that is psychosocial development in children okay so there are eight eight stages uh, this is the first stage but to one year old trust or versus mistrust if babies needs are met they learn to trust people many times babies are neglected uh, mothers will be not there and anybody will not there so babies feels difficult huh? they cannot trust so if babies needs are met they learn to trust people and expect life to be pleasant if babies needs are not met if babies needs are not met they learn not to trust okay understood erickson students understood hello yes sir yes sir yes very good uh, little more information with me also the central idea of erickson's psychosocial stage theory is the development of ego identity ego identity it is a conscious state of the self that we develop through social interaction the psychosocial theory includes the stage one trust and mistrust birth to one year infant is purely dependent on their family members the infancy stage focuses on the infant's basic needs being met by the parents huh? because of the basic needs parents uh, and the child dependent on his mother okay so this is about psychosocial theory developed by erickson first stage birth to one year 
trust versus mistrust there are other types of social behavior also social behavior we found like uh, attachment what is attachment attachment is a during this stage during infancy a newborn baby in arms is the greatest attachment feeling of motherhood suppose ek chote bacche ko aap pakad rahe hain apna arm mein so that is the best attachment stage you know he always seek love and affection attention from the mother a 6 weeks infant will smile and at his mother's face huh? second is smiling smiling is the means of communication for infants huh? smiling is the means of communication for infants in early years an early smile of the infant is the facial exercise of the muscles also okay it is one type of exercise also for a child, baby next is anxiety baby also feel anxiety we all know that mother and child relation is very important in infancy period if mother is disappearing he may cry and scream watch every door the increase in attachment behavior is considered to be an indication of separation anxiety this is also separation anxiety last one is are you understanding these points attachment smiling yes, anxiety yes students yes sir okay okay good next is fear of strangers fear of strangers uh, is second anxiety second anxiety that is direct result of infant's first attachment is stranger anxiety the child is attached to the mother and he can be upset he can be upset by the approach of an unfamiliar adult koi dusra aadmi aa jata hai samne stranger to usko bahut dikkat hoti hai he cries and shows the sign of distress it disappears if it disappears at the end of the first year of the child it disappears it means uh, this type of um, social behavior will disappear at the end of the first year of child okay next sir would you please repeat cognitive the development in <laughs> anxiety okay okay anxiety you know anxiety is a very common common emotional Uh, emotional you can say mental health problem day to day life uh, anxiety means simply oriness uh, oriness or you are uh, at that time during anxiety you cannot decide what to do and where are you and what can be done so you are in a confusing stage at that time and also if you, you are in a difficulty position also you fear fear also develops during anxiety okay from anxiety also depression develops so like that different different mental health problems develops due to anxiety sir is there so, any major difference between the lack of confidence and anxiety like lack of confidence lack of ah anxiety you are so anxiety it is just like, a reason to develop anxiety or these both are quite similar things actually in a particular situation we feel anxiety otherwise somebody is very confident you are working well but immediately any situation comes that time you feel anxiety because due to maybe the situation you don't like or the atmosphere you don't like and that time you feel anxiety because of a somebody's presence maybe huh? you have some quarrel with somebody or some differences with somebody or some senior person you respect much maybe so that time you feel differently ha huh? also sir, you, feel, you try to avoid the situation sir mother's yes. present or yes. mother's absence ha uh, yeah, yeah. i am i am talking in a general way this example but ha uh, in mother's uh, when the child is in the mother's lap mother's arm he is very comfortable the child is very comfortable when the mother disappears the child faces anxiety feels difficulty uh, he also searches for mother where is the mother how to get and where may be so like that different I different fear experience yes yes again please repeat the fact is lonely yes yes lonely lonely he feels lonely also solitary uh, definitely so in stranger also the uh, child feels anxiety okay in in the in the presence of stranger uh, 
Uh, okay. Sir, you mentioned Understood. about uh, depression. How this uh, anxiety stage? That means that distress phase. Uh, mature enough to get into the phase of depression. Actually, if you, if you you are confronting with a different different difficulty position where you feel uh, distress distress. Ah, uh, after that, after a number of time, you are facing the same type of problem. You feel depression. Depression will develops because you are not getting. You are you are a failure. You are a failure, and you are not achieving that goal. That time, you also feel very weak. Uh, mentally weak and I am not capable enough to do things and the situation you also don't like. Maybe depression develops in your mind. Uh, maybe you feel isolated that time because nobody will support you and nobody Sir, will lack of care. Lack of Lack of Yes, yes. Lack of trial and error, uh, that is also happening, uh, definitely. Sir, sir, sir deep, actually depression found in uh, infancy? Yes. Depression. The word, the, actually the word depression uh -huh. no, yeah, found in infancy. In this uh, <laughs> discussion, we are discussing about anxiety, not depression, okay? Yes. We, we are talking about anxiety here. That is the fear, fear of strangers and anxiety we are discussing. Sir, okay. sir, sir. Not depression. So far, a child is concerned, small child, infancy period. Okay. Next, we'll go to next slide. Ah, next is cognitive development in infancy. Cognitive development. Cognition is a broad term that refers to the mental activities involved in the acquisition, processing, organization, and use of knowledge. Cognition. The major processes under the term cognition include detecting, interpreting, classifying, remembering information, evaluating ideas, imagining possibilities, generating strategy, and dreaming. So these are all about your uh, thinking process, thought process. Huh? You are interpreting, you are classifying, you are remembering information. These are all thought process here in your brain. Okay. Next is Piaget. This is the great psychologist, Piaget. Great psychologist Piaget considered cognitive development in terms of stages in cognitive development. These are sensory motor stage. Piaget developed actually the there is a big theory that is called cognitive development. It has four stages. Huh? One is sensory motor stage, sensory motor stage, second is pre-operational stage, third is concrete operational stage, and formal operational stage. And age is also written. We are talking about sensory motor stage. Birth to two years. About uh, the infancy period, I'm telling you a little bit, then I will tell you about sensory motor stage. At the infancy period, children develop many elements of abilities to think and to understand the world around them. They can see, hear, smell, and they are sensitive to pain, touch, and changes in body position. Children, infants, are growing cognitively. Cognitively means mentally. They interact and learn about their environment and persons. According to Piaget, infants interact with their environment through reflexive behavior. Reflexive behavior. You know what is reflexive behavior? Anybody? Reflexive behavior? Anybody can tell? Reflex. You know, eye blinking, uh, sneezing. Uh, Sneezing, sneezing. Shocking, shocking. Uh, sucking also. Yes, yes. Sucking. So for a child is called sucking. Sucking, looking, looking also. These are all uh, reflexive behavior. PIJ consider cognitive development in terms of stages. The mentioned four stages of cognitive development. Okay. <clears throat> so these are all about uh, one is sensory motor stage, second is pre-operational stage, concrete operational stage, and formal operational stage. So we are talking about sensory motor stage, which continue from birth to two years. Huh? Reflexes. In the sensory motor stage, he's talking about reflexes. Reflexes, the child understand the environment purely through inborn reflexes. Inborn reflexes like your sucking. Sucking and looking. Sucking and looking. These are the inborn reflexes. Another other things also. 
primary circular reaction one month to four month the child works on an action of his own he tries to do something the child मतलब हाथ पे ये मूवमेंट करते हैं ना आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस थिंग्स नेक्स्ट इज अर्लियर रिप्रेजेंटेशनल थॉट अर्लियर early representational thought that is children begin to develop symbols to represent events or objects in the world ah. <clears throat> so this is about cognitive development next is uh, sorry ah, sensory motor stage birth to two years the infant uses his senses motor abilities you know sensory motor means uh, you are applying your sense organ and motor means your movement physical movements His, her senses and motor abilities to understand the world beginning with reflexes and ending with complex combination of sensory motor skills reflexes birth to one month the child understand the environment purely through in inborn reflexes such as sucking and looking second one is i have already discussed primary circular reaction first month to four month the child works on an action of his own next is early representational thought that that is children begin to develop symbols to represent events or objects in the world hmm. understood next linguistic development in infancy linguistic language development linguistic means language development is a process starting early in human life when a person begins to acquire language by learning it as it is spoken by mimicry mimicry children language development moves from simple to complex about 4 months of age babies can read lips can read lips and discriminate speech sounds the language the infant speaks is called babbling babbling you know babbling ओडिया कहती खनि खनि कह ओके बेबलिंग आफ्टर फ्यू मंथ सिक्स मंथ द इनफैंट यूज देयर नेम एंड पर्सनल प्रोनाउंस लाइक आई मी एंड माइंड इट रिप्रेजेंट्स सेल्फ अवेयरनेस देयर आर फोर कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ लैंग्वेज डेवलपमेंट इन चिल्ड्रन फर्स्ट इज फोनोलॉजी फोनोलॉजी इन्वॉल्व्स द रूल्स अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर एंड सीक्वेंस ऑफ स्पीच साउंड्स फोनोलॉजी second one is semantics semantic it consist of vocabulary how concepts are expressed through words babies can recognize familiar words and use gesture <coughs> third is grammar grammar the consist of a grammar involves two parts syntax and morphology syntax refers to the rules in which words are arranged into sentences words are arranged in sentences and second one is morphology morphology refers to the use of grammatical markers indicating tense active tense active or passive voice oh. next is pragmatics pragmatics involves the rules for appropriate and effective communication so these are about linguistic development in infancy understood students oh. okay sir yes okay. sir Ah, okay very good a uh, little more information i am just talking to you the skills involved in the, this include using language for greeting demanding changing language for talking differently following rules such as turn taking staying a topic saying a topic children can engage in conversational turn taking and topic maintenance also in age okay by 1 and 2 years children can engage in conversational conversational Term, taking topic maintenance okay next is uh, this is the last huh? this one is last early childhood early childhood physical psychosocial cognitive and linguistic early childhood early childhood means the age often focuses on children learning through play learning through play play stage this is the learning child begins with the infancy period is over approximately 2 years of age group childhood period is divided into two age group early childhood 2 to 6 years late childhood 6 to 10 years to the time of child becomes sexually mature oh. so early childhood age often focuses on children learning through play learning through 
play it includes it includes also toddlerhood toddlerhood and sometimes afterwards it is called play age and the early education preschool and kindergarten age emphasize education around the 3 to 6 years so understood what is early childhood hello yes sir yes sir next there are some characteristics of early childhood some parents that behavioral problems of childhood period are more troublesome than physical care of infants some parents that behavioral problems of childhood are more troublesome than physical care of in this stage you feel there are some behavioral problem what behavioral problem you feel in this stage anybody can बहुत जिद्दी हो जाते हैं स्टूडेंट हाँ मानते नहीं नेगेटिव कुछ करते हैं जिद्दी होके कुछ फेंकते रहते हैं हाँ सो देर आर सम डिस्टर्बेंसेस दे हैव डाउन कोई भी सपोज द चाइल्ड इट इज आल्सो यू कैन से इट इज ए टॉय एज हाँ टॉय एज टॉय एज मींस बिकॉज़ मोस्ट ऑफ़ द टाइम चिल्ड्रन आर एंगेज्ड वि� Toy, this toy is also helpful to educate. How toy is, is important so far as education is concerned? You know, so the children play, always play with the toys and they are interacting with the toys and different, different toys also children use. And uh, from toys also, the children learn many things. Huh? Okay, the toy, suppose uh, the toy has. Uh, two hands and two legs and everything the toy can do anything children can also make a story also so far as toy is concerned huh? king and uh, queen uh, story or any other story the child likes they can start <clears throat> the, these are very helpful to educate the children so behavioral problems some behavioral problems occur in this period such as obstancy stubbornness disobedience negative history antagonistic so these are the some of the behavioral problem they have toys it is a toy age because most of the time children are engaged with their toys these toys are also helpful to educate them finally toys are important elements of their play activities this is a period when a child is considered physically and mentally independent this, this is a period when the child is considered physically and mentally independent. It means the child is child has no responsibility like a adult or any other adolescent. He has no responsibility in the, at home or school. School may be very little bit task the child has, but he can complete very easy. Huh? So for that nowadays there is no punishment also for the children mm -hmm. so this is also a school going age school going age so what is mental age. independence mentally mentally independent means there is no responsibility there is no responsibility at home koi kaam hai kya unka koi responsibility diya jata hai ki ye age mein early childhood mein nahi diya jata hai do teen saal ki char saal ki panch saal ab bolie चाइल्ड बच्चे को क्या रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दिया जाता है वो बैठ के खाओ बैग रखो अपना बस यही रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है और कुछ नहीं है खेलना है उसको इट इज ए प्ले इज सो मेंटली ही इज फ्री मेंटली इंडिपेंडेंट मींस फ्री मेंटली फ्री फिजिकली मेंटली फ्री ओके तो दिस इज आल्सो ए स्कूल गोइंग एज चिल्ड्रन आर बिकम मोर सेल्फ सफिशिएंट इंडिपेंडेंट डेवलप सेल्फ एस्टीम डेवलप सेल्फ एस्टीम सेल्फ एस्टीम यू नो is talking about self confidence uh, this is the age of foundation of social behavior it is the foundation of social age age mein aap dekhiyega chote chote bacche wo apna friend circle bahut rehta hai wo kya karenge khana banayenge ha tum khana banao hum ye kaam karte aap ye kaam karo hum ye kaam karte chote chote bartan leke khana banayenge ha koi mother banega koi sister banega koi husband banega so different different roles responsibility they have in that time so 
they also uh, say different different stories small story they can also tell in this day this is the age of foundation of social behavior develop physical cognitive emotional and social development also mm -hmm. so these are all about characteristics of early childhood next hazards hazards during early childhood what are the hazards hazards may be illness huh? illness छोटे छोटे बच्चे को इस स्टेज में बहुत केयरफुल होना पड़ता है पेरेंट्स को दे आर वेरी थोड़ा सा पानी में वो लोग खेलते हैं और कुछ करते हैं सो दे आर प्रोन टू डिफरेंट इलनेसेस ठंड हो जाता है और कुछ हो गया बीमारी सो दे आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डिफरेंट इलनेस आल्सो एंड आल्सो दे हैव प्रॉब्लम्स एक्सीडेंट एक्सीडेंटल प्रॉब्लम मान लीजिए सीढ़ी में कि कहीं ऐसे जगह पे खेल रहे गिर गया कोई उसमें उसका फ्रैक्चर हो गया और कुछ हो गया सो दे आर वेरी प्रोन टू एक्सीडेंट ऑल्सो छोटे बच्चे थर्डली ओबेसिटी 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 पापा मम्मी लगते हैं कि उसका थोड़ा वेट कम हो गया और खाना पीना इतना देते हैं कि मे बी दे आर लाइक डिफरेंट डिफरेंट बॉडी फिगर डायबिटीज हार्ट अटैक भी हो जाता है ओबेसिटी डायबिटीज छोटे छोटे बच्चे को भी आजकल हो जाता है ये सब चीज जो कि पहले हम लोग नहीं देख रहे थे सो देर आर सम दीज आर ऑल अबाउट फिजिकल हजार्स सेकेंड इज साइकोलॉजिकल हजार्स साइकोलॉजिकल हजार्स साइकोलॉजिकल हजार्स में क्या क्या आता है स्पीच हजार्स आता है स्पीच स्पीच हजार वट इज स्पीच हजार लैंग्वेज इज नॉट क्लियर लैंग्वेज कुछ बोल रहा है इधर उधर करके छोटे छोटे वो रो रहा है बहुत जोर से चाइल्ड इज क्राइंग बट नो बडी अंडरस्टैंड वट ही यर सी इज सही कुछ समझ में नहीं आता है क्या बोल रही है क्या कर रहा है कि इसलिए रो रही है लड़की <laughs> तो लैंग्वेज बिकॉज ऑफ लैंग्वेज प्रॉब्लम विल लीड टू फीलिंग्स ऑफ इनएडिक्वेस एंड इन्फिलिटी इन्फिलिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स भी डेवलप होता है बच्चे के साथ इन्फिलिटी <laughs> वो कर नहीं पा रहा है कोई काम कुछ बोल नहीं पाता है अंडरस्टैंड नो बडी अंडरस्टैंड हिज लैंग्वेज दैट इज ऑल्सो प्रॉब्लम स्पीच हजार्स सेकेंड इज सोशियल हजार्स सोशियल हजार्स सोशियल हजार्स मींस कम्युनिकेशन प्रॉब्लम कम्युनिकेशन प्रॉब्लम द चाइल्ड फील लोनली सलिटेल कैनट मिक्स विथ अदर्स cannot develop friendship feels differently unhealthy social attitudes unhealthy social attitudes the child is not able to interact with other children they can the child cannot mix school ja raha hai wo akela baithi hai akela kha raha hai kuch kar raha hai wo personality may be the child attitude is like that huh? so this is these are all about social hazards नेक्स्ट इज प्ले हजार्ड प्ले हजार्ड ऑल्सो लाइक दैट सब लोग प्ले ग्राउंड में खेल रहे ये अकेले में है आइसोलेटेड लैक ऑफ प्लेमेट्स प्लेमेट है नहीं कुछ का रिजेक्टेड बाय अदर्स फ्रेंड और दूसरे लोग नहीं मिलाते उसको क्योंकि वो मतलब मरता है आर्गुमेंट करता है कि उसको खींच छीन लेता है कुछ बदमाशी करता है इसे कुछ जो कि अदर चिल्ड्रेन डोंट लाइक दे फील हैंडीकैप अकेला में है अकेले में है नो बडी द फ्रेंड दीज आर प्ले प्ले हजार्स एंड मोरल हजार्स ऑल्सो लाइक मोरालिटी मोरल हजार्स कोई उसका पास नहीं आ रहा है वो अकेले में बैठी है कोई ध्यान नहीं दे रहा है मोरालिटी तो दीज आर ऑल अबाउट फिजिकल हजार्स एंड साइकोलॉजिकल हजार्स ड्यूरिंग अर्ली चाइल्डहुड सर सर ऑल दीज प्रॉब्लम्स सर ऑल दीज प्रॉब्लम्स आर ऑकर्ड यस ड्यू टू कास्ट और सेक्स कास्ट नॉट ओनली कास्ट और सेक्स मे बी वन और टू एग्जांपल लाइक दैट बट नॉट ऑलवेज एक्चुअली देयर आर सम स्टूडेंट सम स्मॉल चिल्ड्रन दे हैव हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम आल्सो दे हैव हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम मे बी देर मदर पेरेंटल ये पेरेंट्स चाहते हैं आजकल पेरेंट्स बड़ा कॉन्शियस हो जाते हैं उसके साथ मन मत मिलो उसके साथ मत मिलो उसके साथ मत खेलो वो 
अच्छा बात नहीं करता है वो अनफेमिली अन पार्लियामेंटरी वर्ड्स यूज करता है उसके साथ मत मिलो वो गरीब है वो धनी है ये सब डिफरेंसेस भी करते हैं जैसे आप बोल रहे हैं कास्ट फीलिंग में भी समय डिफरेंट डिफरेंट थिंग्स हैपेंस इन डिफरेंट लोकलिटीज ओके दीज आर ऑल साइकोलॉजिकल हजार्स अंडरस्टूड सर सर Before that, physical development in early childhood. A little bit, I'll tell you. Growth and development in early childhood. What is growth and de- growth and development follow an orderly sequence in early childhood. There is an orderly sequence, huh? Growth and development. Each child normally passes through a number of stages. Each child normally passes through a number of stages. इसके बाद ये होगा, इसके बाद वो होगा. There are some, you know, developmental milestones. As per the milestone, the child develops. There are individual differences in the rate and development. Development is essentially the interaction between maturation and learning. Development is essentially the <coughs> interaction between maturation and learning. Next is physical development in early childhood. Physical development, talking about, is more developing in respect to cognitive, physical, social, and language. Huh? First is. physical changes in early childhood are accompanied by rapid changes in the child cognitive and language development ha huh? physical changes in development accompanied by physical changes ke sath hi cognitive development bhi hota hai language development bhi hota hai ha huh? <laughs> not only only physical changes huh? height growth rate slows kuch stage mein growth rate slow ho jata hai weight at age 6 children should get weight approximately 6 times as much as they did at birth <coughs> body build body differences are fairly seen during this period body build the boys boys muscles become longer muscles become larger stronger and heavier also huh? girls also fat huh? like that body build motor skill gross and fine motor skills gross and you know what is the difference between gross and fine motor skills students हेलो नो ग्रॉस मोटर स्किल्स मींस ग्रॉस एंड रनिंग स्किपिंग रनिंग स्किपिंग जंपिंग ये सब करते हैं जो खेलना खेलना कूदना जो करना है मूवमेंट जिसमें ज्यादा ये मूवमेंट होता है फुटबॉल खेलना क्रिकेट खेलना जो भी है सो दीज आर ऑल ग्रॉस मोटर स्किल्स एंड फाइन मोटर स्किल इज टॉकिंग अबाउट सपोज स्मॉल You are doing a very small work. Well, man, let's say a drawing. A drawing. Huh? Drawing, drawing. Ah, uh, drawing will include because you are putting a pencil, pencil or rubber. You are using small things. Turning pages, a book ka page, nikal rahe, aur kuch kar rahe, chote chote kam kar rahe, pen ka cap band kar rahe. These are fine motor skills. <coughs> Whatever small work, small work means very. You have to use your hand coordination and uh, eye contact also very important so far as fine motor skill is you are doing chote chote kaam kar rahe us time bahut aapko dikkat bhi hoti hai itna easy nahi hota hai fine motor skill so turning pages drawing writing 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 bhi karna hai ye sab cheez fine motor mein aa jayega silai kar rahe silai kar rahe stitching ha ah, that is also fine motor skill A gross motor skill, running, skipping, jumping, like that. <coughs> Next, physical development in early childhood. Also, brain development. The most important development during early childhood is nervous system growth. Oh, nervous system growth also developed in early childhood. Body proportion and shape. Body proportion and shape. The average preschool child requires. 1700 calories per day well balanced meals are important in this stage because their diet affects skeletal growth body shape susceptibility to disease ah so as per the requirement as suggested by doctors ah you can do like that the average preschool child requires 1700 calories per day har cheez mein woh cheez karna chahiye बॉडी प्रोपोर्शन के लिए 
teeth. Next is teeth. During the first four to six months of age stage of this stage, the last four baby teeth, the back molars erupt. Oh. During the last half years of early childhood, the baby teeth begins to be replaced by permanent teeth. When early child is over, the child generally has one or two permanent teeth in front and some gaps where permanent teeth will eventually erupt. So this is about teeth, physical development in early childhood. Okay. Next is uh, psychosocial development in early childhood. Psychosocial development in early childhood. So Erickson, the great psychologist, Eric Erickson describes the impact of social experience, de develop self-conscious emotion. Uh, Erickson theory say children start to evaluate themselves of autonomy versus same. One to three years old, toddlers realize that toddler stage that they can direct their own behavior. They can direct their own behavior. If toddlers are successful in directing their own behavior, they learn to be independent. If toddlers attempt to at being independent or blocked, they learn self-doubt and same for being unsuccessful. Understood first point, autonomy and same. Students, hello. Sir, can you repeat that again? Ah, yes. So, in this stage, as per Erickson, children start to start to realize that they can direct their own behavior. They can direct their own behavior. If toddlers, toddlers means one to three years of children are successful in directing their own behavior, they learn to be independent. If the toddlers are successful in directing their own behavior, they learn to be independent. Usko agar koi kaam aap de rahe hain, wo kar dete apne ichha se, wo that is good. Autonomy, autonomy of power. If toddlers attempt at being independent are blocked, koi kaam nahi kar paaye wo. They learn self doubt and same for being unsuccessful. Have you, you have any experience like children, one to three years old, autonomy and same. Agar wo kam kar lete, their autonomy means they are independent. Toddlers are successful for directing their own behavior. They learn to be independent. If they toddlers attempt at being independent are blocked, they learn self doubt. Apne upar doubt karte hain. And same, lajja bhi lagta hai unko for being unsuccessful. So, so ye three years mein hota hai ye cheez? Haan, hota hai. Kyun nahi hota hai? Jee, aap chhote chhote bachche ko dekho na, wo koshish karte hain koi kam karne ke liye. Koi chhote chhote bachche jo hai, wo karne ke liye koshish karenge. Maan lijiye wo kuch toad rahe hain. Haan, koshish karte hain karne ke liye. Agar nahi kar paate, they feel very same and self doubt. Wo gussa ho jate hain. अगर कोई काम दिया गया छोटा सा काम वो कर नहीं पाए मान लीजिए वो टॉय के साथ खेल रहे वो टॉय से वो कुछ निकाल रहे अगर वो कर देते हैं वो काम जो वो कोशिश कर रहे हैं दे विल बी हैप्पी दे विल बी हैप्पी एंड इंडिपेंडेंट वो चाहते हो इफ दे आर नॉट कैपेबल ऑफ ऑफ डूइंग दिस थिंग्स दे फील वेरी सेम एंड सेल्फ डाउट दिस इज द साइकोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट इन चिल्ड्रन होता नहीं है करने के लिए कोशिश करते हो <laughs> समझ रहे हैं ना they are trying to do their best okay one to three years old me as per ericsson ericsson theory second is three to five years old initiative versus guilt initiative versus guilt preschoolers preschooler jo chote chote bacche hain are challenged to control their own behavior challenge to control their own behavior such as controlling their excitement when they are in a restaurant कोई चीज लेने के लिए कोशिश कर रहे इनिशिएट कर रहे मगर पापा मम्मी मना कर देते हैं वो लेते नहीं इफ प्री स्कूलर सक्सीड इन टेकिंग रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दे फील कैपेबल एंड डेवलप इनिशिएटिव इफ प्री स्कूलर फेल इन टेकिंग रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दे फील इरेस्पॉन्सिबल एंक्सियस एंड गिल्टी गिल्ट फील करते होता है इसे कभी <laughs> ये भी थ्री टू फाइव ईयर्स ओल्ड बच्चे के साथ होता है मगर इफ दे फील कर लेते हैं वो काम रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लेके दे आर वेरी हैप्पी अगर नहीं कर पाते 
they fail in taking responsibility they irresponsible anxious and guilty guilty feeling hota hai unka theek hai guilt guilt feeling aata hai so psychologist say actually one or three is here mein this two terms you know autonomy and same another is initiative and guilt ye cheez aata hai bachcho ke sath theek hai psychosocial development hai ye early childhood theek hai next understood hello बिगिनिंग one is assimilation another is accommodation assimilation is talking about it is the process of using or transforming the environment so that it can be placed in pre existing cognitive structure maan lijiye ek chhota uska dimag mein bachche ke sath ek dimag mein ek chhota sa kya kahenge hum chuha hai matlab chuha to nahi kya kutta hai matlab dog small dog that The, in their mind, small dog is small. Every dog is small. But उनका माइंड चेंज होता है कैसे जैसे वो दूसरा डॉग के साथ कंपेयर करते हैं दैट स्टेज अकर्स एकोमोडेशन स्टेज इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ चेंजिंग कॉग्नेटिव स्ट्रक्चर इन ऑर्डर टू एक्सेप्ट समथिंग फ्रॉम द एनवाइ सो उनका माइंड फिर चेंज होता है जैसे छोटे बच्चे के साथ आप देखेंगे शॉकिंग बिहेवियर आप जानते हैं दैट इज वन टाइप ऑफ मेंटल इमेज Uh, उसको कहते हैं सकिंग सकिंग जो सकिंग करता है छोटा पिला छोटो बच्चा सो so, उसको सकिंग बिहेवियर कैसे चेंज होता है उसका डिफरेंट टू तो एक बॉटल यूज करते हैं हम छोटा बॉटल से भी वो यूज करते हैं दूध पीने के लिए बाहर कुछ पीने के लिए सो समाइम्स वी आर यूजिंग स्मॉल बॉटल ऑल्सो फर्स्ट ही ट्रांसफॉर्म टू मदर्स मिल्क टू स्मॉल बॉटल एंड स्मॉल बॉटल टू large size bottle so like that transformation transformation the environment so that it can be placed in pre existing cognitive but uska dimag mein wahi hai first assimilation stage mein hota hai second accommodation accommodate fit karta hai so it is a process of changing cognitive structure in order to accept something from the environment so like that mental ability change hota hai uska dimag mein uska ideas develop hota hai conceptual idea develop hota hai samajh mein aa raha hai okay इंटेलिजेंस इज डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड थ्रू दूज ऑफ सिम्बल्स इंटेलिजेंस इज demonstrated through the use of symbols language use which matures and memory and imagination are developed but thinking is done in a non logical non logical and non reversible manner ah just like at pre operational stage plays intelligence is demonstrated through the use of symbols language etc so psychologists say there are two things develops in this stage that is one is egocentric thinking egocentric egocentric thinking means the child think uh, the children from stable concept and mental reasoning begins to develop from 2 to 4 years children develop symbolic reasoning the ability to picture an object that is not present man lijiye aap ek toy de rahe wo toy ko aap disappear kar dijiye nikal dijiye wahan se Here, the child thinks about the same toy he requires, and his number of time he is crying for the toy, because the object there is a concept is object formalist symbolic reasoning. His mind me wo chiz a jata hai ki ye toy mera hai, ye kahan se gaya? Wo object picture uska mind me already hai. Wo nahi sochta hai ki wo picture gaya hai. Wo toy hai. Maan lijiye wo nikal bhi gaya, kahan phenk diye, kho gaya wo. Phir bhi wo sochta hai ki चाहिए उसका दिमाग में वही रहता है तो देर आर टू थिंग्स दिटी टू पिक्चर एन ऑब्जेक्ट दैट इज नॉट प्रेजेंट जो प्रेजेंट नहीं है उसका दिमाग में
that is called symbolic thinking another is egocentric thinking also predominates children from stable concept to mental reasoning ha huh? stable concept to mental reasoning but weekends magical beliefs are constructed gradually wo different different beliefs uska dimag mein aata hai fir child has forgotten the the piaz noted that children feel great difficulty to accept the views of others in the, in this stage piaz declared noted that children feel great, great difficulty to accept the views of others dusra ka view man lijiye aur koi kuch bata bata raha hai uska dimag mein jo hai wahi wo sochta hai cannot forget the same thing wo kiska baat mein aata nahi hai wo jo bol raha hai wo sahi hai iska dimag mein wahi rehta hai so these are all about pre operational stage ha huh? for cognitive development understood or not understood hello hello yes sir yes sir okay next is last is this is the last slide linguistic development in early childhood at the end of end of age 7 children are able children are able to demonstrate some basic understanding of the less concrete concepts including time and money however the 8 years old still reasons in concrete ways and has difficulty understanding abstract ideas abstract ideas at the same age of 7 years they should, should be able to handle opposite analogies easily girl boy man woman blonde sir short long sweet sour etc they must be able to understand such terms as a like different beginning end etc in addition children at this stage should be able to tell time to quarter hour and do simple reading write many words so these are the some of the language development in early childhood so children are able to demonstrate some basic understanding of the less concrete concept including the time and money man lijiye aap 10 rupya de rahe wo samajh raha hai ki 10 rupya pe what is the importance of 10 rupees he can explain and discuss about this mujhe chocolate chahiye 10 rupya mein kitna chocolate hoga ye wo bol sakta hai idea bhi kar sakta time time matlab अभी कितना टाइम एग्जैक्ट टाइम करने के लिए कोशिश कर सकता है करतेगा ये सब बात नहीं है सो द एट इयर्स ओल्ड स्टिल रीजन एंड इन कंक्रीट वेज हैज डिफिकल्टी अंडरस्टैंडिंग एब्सट्रैक्ट आइडिया एब्सट्रैक्ट आइडिया में थोड़ा डिफिकल्टी होता है उनको बिकॉज द अर्ली इयर्स कंटिन्यूज बर्थ टू सेवन एट ईयर्स नॉट मोर देन दैट सात आठ साल का बच्चे को पूरा अंडरस्टैंडिंग आना डिफिकल्ट है दे शुड बी एबल टू हैंडल अपोजिट एनालॉजीज इजिली क्याल बॉय समझ लेता है मैन वोमैन ब्लॉन्ड सर शॉर्ट लॉन्ग स्वीट सावर एंड दे मस्ट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड सच टर्म्स लाइक एज अ लाइक डिफरेंट बिगिनिंग एंड इन एडिशन चिल्ड्रन एट दिस स्टेट शुड बी एबल टू टेल देम टेल टाइम टू क्वार्टर क्वार्टर आवर एंड सिंपल रीडिंग कोई मान लीजिए बुक दे रहे आप वो पढ़ाई कर लेगा ऐसा बात नहीं कर लेगा राइट मेनी वर्ड्स कुछ वर्ड्स आप लिखने के लिए दे रहे ही कैन राइट ही और सी कैन राइट स्टोरी भी बोल सकता है छोटे छोटे स्टोरी अदर इंफॉर्मेशन आई हैव आल्सो आई एम टेलिंग यू प्रॉपर लैंग्वेज डेवलपमेंट इज द मेन कंसर्न इन अर्ली चाइल्डहुड एट द एज ऑफ 6 ए चाइल्ड कैन लर्न कंसोनेंट दैट आर टू बी मास्टर भावेल कंसोनेंट ऊपर आईडिया आ जाता है दे शुड बी टेल अदर्स ए वेल कनेक्टेड स्टोरी अबाउट ए पिक्चर सीइंग द रिलेशनशिप मान लीजिए एक एक पिक्चर दिखा रहे हाथी हाथी की घोड़ा कुछ दिखा रहे so can make a story also small story uh, at age seven child masters the consonant they should be able to handle opposite analogies girl boy man woman uh, a quarter hour do simple reading write many words is sab kar sakta hai ye sab baat nahi hai so language development will be very important in the early childhood kyunki ye easily language development acha hota hai आप देखे होंगे स्कूल में छोटे छोटे बच्चे को जो रिसेस आवर में आप देख रहे हैं क्लास वन क्लास टू में पढ़ रहे हैं दे आर एंगेज इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज बालों में जाके खेल रहे बालों में कुछ बना रहे ड्राइंग कर रहे कुछ और कुछ कर रहे जैसे मैंने कहा घर में छुट्टिया बात बना रहे चावल बना रहे दाल बना रहे 
और कुछ सब्जी बना रहे <coughs> सब बना रहे सो उसमें दे दे फील वेरी हैप्पी एंड कंफर्टेबल टू डू द थिंग्स नंबर ऑफ टाइम ये सब चीज होता है दिस इज अबाउट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्टेजेस एनी डाउट और एनीथिंग अगेन कैन यू डिस्कस बिकॉज़ वी हैव ऑलरेडी अनदर हाफ आवर हां अपन आवर लाइक वन सर सर वन क्वेश्चन सर यस यस सर इंट्यूटिव थॉट्स हां हां इंट्यूटिव थॉट्स इंट्यूटिव थॉट्स यू नो इंट्यूशन 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 इंट्यूटिव थॉट माने गेस करके आप बोल सकते हैं ये करना है आपका दिमाग में आ जाता है ये सब चीज कि क्वेश्चन ऑफ व्हाई हां क्वेश्चन ऑफ व्हाई यस क्वेश्चन ऑफ व्हाई When, how, ये सब क्वेश्चन आ जाता है उसका दिमाग में बच्चों का दिमाग में ठीक ठीक सर सर यू प्लीज शेयर द स्लाइड विद अस हाउ स्लाइड आई विल गिव यू ऑन द स्लाइड्स शेयरिंग विद यू हां यू कैन आल्सो Slides, I'll give you. But uh, how we'll share? Uh, sir, please provide your number. Uh, you can. Would you please WhatsApp us then? Acha acha. In in this uh, group also, uh, we can send. No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. I'll try to. Anyway, I I'll, I'll give you. No problem. Hey, another small small thing I want to share because we have time already twenty twenty five times, huh? Twenty five minutes. Ah. Huh? there are some issues in life span development you know uh, issues what are the issues in life span development you know uh, in the beginning first unit uh, the topic is uh, issues like uh, example include managing one's relationship in normal life so that they are healthy and functional surviving disability coping with grief loss self esteem issues major issues have emerged in studying human development but at the issue first important issues maybe is development is due more to genetics or environment development is due to genetics or environment does development occur slowly and smoothly do early childhood experiences have the greatest impact on development do early childhood experiences have greatest early childhood experiences have the greatest impact on development so these are some issues uh, under that issue uh, you can take the like one point is nature and nurture you know nature and nurture nature you know what is what is genetic huh? what is we, we are getting from so our nature is what we, how we are made and nurture is how our parents or the society treats us society ha huh? about environment environment nurture means environment how we develop we uh, day to day life our progress or everything ha huh? so nature and net nurture wow what do you feel which one is very important which one is very important nature or nurture hello nature nature primarily nature is important i guess sir nature. unless uh, nurture you can develop <laughs> nurture also. by the time being the nurture is also important but uh, both are sir, nature is sir both are important first nature then nurture oh. nature in the beginning definitely unless you take birth <laughs> how will develop huh? that is important birth is sir i think uh, both yes. are correlated both are correlated but uh, unless uh, you, you taking birth how you develop huh? there is no development so therefore yes, i said na both are correlated ha uh, yes so nurture also very important after birth ha uh, because your your physical development your psychological development your cognitive development psychosocial ha uh, and language development everything is important whatever 
development you require from the environment what type of environment you have you develop like our uh, one psychologist jb watson you know the name of jb watson yes sir ah uh, you know what who, who is who is jb watson jb watson is a behavioral psychologist ha huh? jb watson is a behavioral psychologist uh, who uh, conducted a lot of learning uh, lot of theory on learning and uh, watson uh, talking about environment also how environment why environment is very important so for as ek man lijiye ek mumbai mein rickshaw wala वो बोला सपोज आप बारह बच्चे मुझे दे देंगे बारह बच्चा मेरा पास हो जाएगा तो आई विल डेवलप माई सेल्फ कैसे बारह ट्वेल्व रिक्शा विल बी विथ मी ऑटो रिक्शा सो विल बी आई विल बी अर्निंग मोर मोर मनी विथ मी लाइक दैट थिंकिंग बट इट डज नॉट नो हाउ टू डेवलप दिस चिल्ड्रेन फर्स्ट यू नीड their development na unless they develop how can they pull rickshaw or anything so watson is bole ki mujhe 12 bacche de dijiye watson ek agreement ki usko aap jaise bolenge jo jo karna chahte hain if you think somebody will be a engineer somebody will be a criminal somebody will be a doctor or somebody will be a faculty or anything so i'll do it so वो चैलेंज जो किए थे अटसन ने वो देखे कि बारह बच्चे को हम जैसे चाहेंगे इंजीनियर एनीथिंग यू लाइक एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू थिंक if you are no neglecting the children so they will be criminals they will be thieves or they will be dacaits huh? like that so like that argument watson say so sofra ji your nature and nurture is concerned this is very important both are correlated huh? correlated unless nature you, you cannot develop uh, unless environment you also you cannot also develop properly both are interdependent next is stability and change uh, stability issues like stability whatever development is going on there must be stable stable development uh, unless your developmental milestone only in the proper way you cannot develop properly developmental milestone is very important in every stage every weeks or every month or every year your developmental milestone will be major and on the basis of that you can develop better mani je koi bhi kaam karne ke liye aapko proper sequence mein ek predictable way mein aapko jana padega proper order mein if you follow the sequence or stability definitely your growth will be there unless but so far as our child development or life span development is concerned there must be some changes in different different stages like in infancy early childhood your adolescent stage your adult stage early adulthood middle adulthood late adulthood like that the changes will occur and development like that if a person concerned person is developing properly so far as life span is concerned definitely development will occur properly there is no problem if somebody will not neglect will be neglected then development will not occur okay yes sir uh, oh. so these are uh, all about how many times you have 15 minutes no 15 na 12 minutes little bit again we will repeat the things any you need to one any doubt you have stages of development physical domain psychological domain cognitive development domain mm. there are some characteristics of life span development you need to know 
we have uh, left that one i'm telling you characteristics of lifespan development uh, important characteristics or beliefs of lifespan approach first one is a lifelong development lifelong development the potential for development extends across the entire lifespan the potential for development extends across the entire lifespan it means put potentiality is very important lifelong development second is development is multi dimensional development is multi dimensional it occurs in the biological cognitive and social emotional domain har talika mein wo change hona chahiye dimension aur biological dimension mein hona chahiye cognitive dimension social ek bhi maan lijiye nahi hua to proper development ho gaya therefore development is multi dimensional third is development is multi directional development is multi directional development is comprised of multiple abilities development is comprised of multiple ability which takes different direction showing different types of change next is development is plastic plasticity infants who have a hemisphere of the brain removed shortly after birth आपको पता होना चाहिए जो जो ट्रीटमेंट होता है एपिलेप्सी एपिलेप्सी की बीमारी है यू नो एवरीबडी एपिलेप्सी मेंटल हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम हाँ एपिलेप्सी डू यू नो स्टूडेंट्स हेलो मिर्गी मिर्गी please repeat so fits fits to the code attacks attacks you speak kya hoga fits fits yes fits fits is epilepsy epilepsy means fits oh same type of but it is mental mental problem epilepsy is fits like fits like means fits in general different hai but epilepsy in epilepsy matlab it is a mental health problem where you also fits like symptoms you have okay so it, for treatment suppose for treatment of epilepsy certain uh, one uh, in brain your one hemisphere will be removed shortly after birth man lijiye bachpan ke time ye cheez ho raha hai aapke sath maybe doctor suggest to remove the aapka uh, hemisphere that hemisphere of the brain but besides that also brain has the capacity to recover the functions associated with that hemisphere is the brain reorganizes brain reorganize wo adjust kar leta hai brain besides brain ka capacity hai wo phir bhi adjustment karke so so far as your different functions of the brain he can manage next is development is contextual 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 means what is the meaning of contextual Yes, hello. इसका आता है Can you answer? Hello. Contextual. Material. Yes. Contextual means materials. Met. Yeah. Meti. समझा नहीं. नहीं नहीं मैट. Related to materials. No no no. हाँ uh, materials में <laughs> contextual means. हम लोग बात करते हैं तब बोलते हैं ना कि किस कंटेस्ट में तुम बोल रहे हो मे बी ए पर्सन लिविंग इन रूरल एनवायरनमेंट अनदर पर्सन मे बी डेवलप्ड इन अर्बन एनवायरनमेंट सो डेफिनेटली द कंटेक्स्ट इज डिफरेंट सो एज पर सो फर एज डेवलपमेंट इज कंसर्न द मे बी द रूरल द पर्सन जो चाइल्ड इज अपब्रिंगिंग इन द rural environment may be some problems may be urban development or one area the child is developed the more capable healthy baby may be so may be due to contextual also environment uh, environment your problem may be different ah huh? so may be you are better developed in urban urban atmosphere because nowadays you see everybody is coming to <laughs> urban areas nobody like to stay at a rural area 
so like that contextual development is contextual because all types of facility and the health facility or any other facility are available in urban area next is uh, development is multidisciplinary multidisciplinary means it is not only related to psychology developmental psychology it is related to sociology also it is related to uh, any other biology physiology hmm, other other chemistry ah. so different different development is de dependent on different medicines different different disciplines development next is development involves growth maintenance and regulation development needs growth involves growth maintenance and regulation development ko you need to be maintain and regulate also then development will occur properly unless you maintain it it cannot be developed properly so these are all about uh, issues issues related to life span development uh <clears throat> so uh earlier you have asked about uh, that uh, maturation huh? maturation and learning you know learning learning is a skill learning is a learning is a trial and error basis or sometimes it depends on mental mental function learning learning is different different types of learning but unless maturation occurs you cannot develop you cannot uh, learn ise learning to different different stage mein aap kar sakte hain jaise ki somebody is taking drugs ha huh? drugs also ha huh? what type of learning that is not proper learning ha huh? your behavior may be maybe after taking drugs you behave differently but the impact is temporary impact is temporary maan lijiye aap cinema hall mein ja rahe hain cinema dekhne ke liye when you are surprise your eye is concerned when you enter the cinema hall ha huh? you feel darkness everywhere but once you sit in the particular chair and you see the picture cinema so in that time that time you feel different you are uh, you are observing or seeing everything no darkness is there it means adjustment that is one type of adjustment that that is not learning that is one type of adjustment of your eye to a particular situation and drugs also like that so learning depends on maturation and both are interactive huh? unless learning maturation provides the raw material for learning but development is influenced by the interaction of both development for development child development uh you need interaction of both learning and maturation hmm? okay like uh, you say suparaji so or there are different principles of development huh? you know there are some principles of development huh? so your development definitely governed by certain law law and regulation unless that law you follow you cannot develop and uh, individuals are different adjusts in each phase and uh, different different things like early foundations are critical early foundations of development are critical so for the right attitude behavior establish early years determine to a large extent how individuals will adjust in later life no these are all about we have discussed many things so any other question you want to ask Anybody? hello 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 ah uh, any question hello? you want one sir no? good evening sir do we have any whatsapp group of this uh, meeting ah uh, whatsapp group so yes yes ma'am uh, we 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 are connected with a group uh, we can share the link uh, you can check the uh, chat box sir can you add me in that group Oh, actually. So, so that whatever material is shared by sir, 
we can all share it together okay 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 i will i'll discuss with our uh, igno igno so we stood sir we students at a group uh, okay. we personally uh, you, you can you can you can uh, take my phone number ah. phone number ah. okay sir just you note down note down yes sir please sir 958 yes sir नंबर हाँ दिस नंबर अच्छा ये हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स प्रेजेंट टुडे प्लीज टेल मी राइट नाउ 26 आर देयर सो 26 राइट नाउ एक्चुअली हाउ मेनी ऑलरेडी इन द रजिस्टर मतलब हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स इन टोटल वी डोंट हैव द आईडिया फॉर दैट अच्छा अच्छा ओके 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 26 स्टूडेंट्स अटेंडेड ऑल ऑल बिलोंग टू भुवनेश्वर और एनी अदर प्लेस यू वाज आई एम फ्रॉम खुर्दा thank you so much wait wait for 5 minutes time is not gone <laughs> don't go <laughs> at per instruction 2 hours class class is actually we need little bit uh, discussion otherwise uh, uh, second time second class will be 20 second okay 22 tarikh ko hai so we'll discuss in the beginning then we'll proceed to slides then uh, the time will be managed properly 4 <laughs> minutes only ha uh, 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 there are actually in the block uh, four units are there okay four blocks are uh, four units are there first one is first one is uh, uh, just a minute the matter in sense and early child yes no uh, nahi first one is uh, development development i think huh? concept of development ha huh? first ये कंसेप्ट ऑफ डेवलपमेंट हम्म सेकंड वन इज प्रीनैटल डेवलपमेंट सेकंड यूनिट थर्ड यूनिट इज इन्फेंसी इन्फेंसी फिजिकल साइकोसोशियल एंड कॉग्निटिव डेवलपमेंट लाइक दैट अंडर इन्फेंसी एंड लास्ट वन इज द अर्ली इयर्स अर्ली अर्ली चाइल्डहुड अर्ली चाइल्डहुड इयर्स सो दैट इज आल्सो physical psychological and psychosocial cognitive development ah so we have discussed so accordingly you prepare yourself and uh, i hope uh, whatever we have discussed you learn and uh, understand ah uh, can you give some questions uh, in this chapter uh, in this block uh, in the next class ha ha yes no problem i will give you some questions the that questions will be helpful to you okay so very general questions you know in the beginning first chapter if you say uh, what is development discuss the different stages of development you can write a question uh, another is uh, maybe what is prenatal development and uh, what are the uh, different different hazards during prenatal development you can write third also what is early childhood years and what is the importance of early childhood years more questions i will tell you definitely in the next class on 22nd ha huh? okay okay sir thank okay, you sir okay sir okay sir thank you sir thank you time ho gaya kya 6 baj gaya nahi nahi wo do minute 2 minute time sir next time we will uh, uh, we'll discuss in the beginning so that uh, the time will pass properly ha uh, we have to maintain the time <laughs> very important uh 
tomorrow you have classes tomorrow no saturday sunday no, there is no class 22nd next class is 22nd next class is 22nd yes yeah. wait for one two minutes then uh, we'll <laughs> go sir uh, next class mein aap hame bata sakte hai kaise kaise questions aur uske answers kaise likhne hai theek hai exam mein bata sakte hai definitely i'll tell you thank no you problem. sir thank you thank you thank you thank you so much वन मिनट है फिर भी <laughs> so, question, you need to actually you go through the uh, materials uh, properly and uh, attend the class and I will give you the question and definitely you can do easily no problem okay sir questions will be very direct uh, questions will be very direct and uh, specific to a particular topic uh, concentrated so you have to go through all topics properly then you can write better unless you read you can write you are all working working different different places yes sir yes sir ah. yes sir ah. so why you know who is yes, taking sir. the initiative of making the group we request to have a group of our batch i uh, you, you actually i don't know the names and everything so you decide in discuss with your each other and uh, make a group ah, that Ma'am? will be Uh, Ruby, ma'am, please uh, say yeah. your number. I will add you in the group. Uh, yeah, my number is. Will are you noting down? Yes, yes, ma'am. Double nine. Eight one eight one. Yes. Yes. Five double one seven. Okay. Okay. I please add, add another number. Thank you very much. Okay. Seven eight seven. Three two three five eight one four. Okay. Thank you very much. Is there any else? Thank you. Okay. Thank you to all of you. Thank sir, you. Sir, sir, can you share this material? Yes. <laughs> so i have uh, texted you no, on whatsapp uh, please share the slides there sir thank you okay okay no problem okay thank i you, share thank you sir. okay thank you thank you so much you will be sharing in our group no okay yes 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 okay okay, okay, okay thank I'll you very much okay thank you thank you sir thank you sir i am closing thank you sir okay thank you sir. yes sir thank you sir